Well, we finally ended up finding it after so much time searching. I finally came across the location where these guys are. And as we can see, it is a rest zone that is right here. So it's about time we came across this thing. If you guys were in the live stream, uh, it'll probably have been yesterday by the time this video goes up. But we found this little guy and just never was able to figure out where his zone was. But apparently this is the zone right here. So uh, once we get him to calm down, we'll probably try to take him. But anyway, I think he ran that way. So... We're going to try and find his track, and then we'll follow where he goes to and try to get a shot in him. I want to make sure that he's not running around when we take the shot, so that's the only reason I didn't shoot him right here. I want to make sure we get a good, clean shot on him, so let's see if we can find his disturbed vegetation, and then we'll chase it down. Well, as I kind of expected, this bison continues to be an absolute pain to find and is constantly dodging me, so we're going to have to go back to the spot where we initially spotted it, and just kind of pick up the tracks, try to figure out where they came from, which need zone they were using, and then we'll be able to more easily find them, hopefully. But I was extremely excited when I first spotted this guy during the live stream because it actually is the very first rare bison or rare European bison that I've ever seen. Because I really don't hunt Hirschfelden too much, so I haven't had the opportunity to take one out. And in general, they are a little bit more rare than some of the other albinos in the game, so. Definitely super excited to be able to finally try to take one of these down. Now, the only issue is going to be finding it again. This is the second time we've ended up losing it. At least now we get a general idea of where it is, so that's going to help out quite a bit. But I want to make sure that we get full score on this, so I don't want to be taking any running shots or anything like that. So hopefully it'll just be in a field completely still for us. That would make it a lot easier. So that right there is what we've been looking for and we have finally found the need zone of this guy it's been about 30 minutes since the last little part of this video that you guys saw of me searching for it out in the fields I've been kind of having issues finding out where it was as you guys can see we've <laughs> we have gone a long way trying to find this guy but we finally found the zone that he hangs at so that is awesome got this rest zone right here we can actually just go here, change the time, and we should be good, which... Uh, I'm so happy that we finally got his area and we're going to be able to get him finally. Oh, uh, this is not how I expected this to go. Oh, okay. That was not a brain shot I needed. That was not the brain shot I needed. Well, that uh, didn't go the way I wanted it to, so... Now I have no idea if I ended up spooking it off or not. Little unfortunate we got attacked. Hopefully we'll end up spotting the albino. Well, I can tell you one thing. It has not been an easy adventure trying to get this albino. It's been, it's been interesting. We've had pretty much everything go wrong that could possibly go wrong. It's going to feel really good when we finally get this guy on the ground. Hopefully that's sooner than later. Okay, so I didn't realize I was right on them. I had to reset my time and I came over here to try and see if they were here and yeah, they're here. I don't see the albino one yet though, so that's a little a little bit odd, but I mean, hopefully it's not too far away. Because if it is, this could continue on for who knows how much longer. Oh, here goes nothing. Let's see if there's anything else in the area. Because they are kind of hiding from me at the moment. No, doesn't look like the albinos in the area. That's, uh... Yeah, it's a little unfortunate, for sure. Well, I really don't know what to do now. I've had to reset the time three times. I've restarted my game twice. And I just can't seem to get him back at the zone. <laughs> Okay, so I came over here to clear some hunting pressure while I wait for that bison and we got ourselves a level 5 goose Let's try to get this down if I can hit it. There we go Nice. I cannot believe that happened. That is absolutely amazing I came over here just to clear some hunting pressure and we got ourselves a diamond goose because of it That is absolutely awesome we actually have some more geese here, too. Let's get these guys checked out, so... 
Looks like there's a couple males. We'll try to take the males out at least. There we go. I'm actually kind of surprised these guys are dropping immediately, but I mean, I'll take it. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab the diamond. I don't know which one it is. I think it's the other one. And yeah, it has to be this guy. Since that other one was the gold, let's go ahead and get a picture of this guy. And let's see, is it a diamond? It is 8.90. That's a pretty big diamond too. Go ahead and tax that. That is awesome. It's been a little while since we've seen ourselves a diamond goose, so definitely not too mad about that. Glad I decided to come over and clear some hunting pressure. That's going to look pretty nice in the lodge, so let's go ahead and clean the other ones and then we'll head back to that bison. Got quite a bit of level 2s in here, so I figured we might as well try to take these out and hopefully get a diamond out of it. Obviously, I'm assuming it's a low chance to get a level 2 diamond, but might as well check it out to see if there is. Since we do still need to clear a little hunting pressure, I figure this is a great way to do it. Let's go ahead and grab all these little guys. Unfortunately, nothing too crazy yet. I haven't had too good of luck with the rabbits. Been finding a lot of pretty low level and low scoring ones, so... I haven't got anything close to diamond and no rares yet either, so that's one thing we still need to hunt for. And I guess the fact that they're kind of bugged right now does speed that process up a little bit, but overall I think these guys are just fantastic hunting pressure clears and once they get fixed I think they're going to be a lot of fun to hunt too, just as of now they're not working as intended. But anyway, now that we've cleared off pretty much all the hunting pressure that was down uh, next to these bison. This is going to make it a lot easier. We do need to go to one more spot, clear some more pressure, and then we'll be able to get back there and take them out. Well, it looks like the bison are back, but I don't see our albino yet. This is how it's been the last couple times I've gone here. I've seen some of them, but not the one that we're after. But I think we're just going to actually spook these guys out and see if we can get sight of the albino, because Honestly, all we need to do is get our eyes on it, and I think I might have just seen it, actually. But as I was saying, we just need to get them out in the open. Should make it a lot easier to find them, because right now they're in a terrible spot. They decided to bed right in a little dip, which really makes it hard to spot them, unless we get them out of it, so... Hopefully the albino is... Actually, there it is. Hold on. It's behind all of these. Here we go. All right. See what we can do here. We just need it to get out of this group. Get out of the pack so we can actually get a sh clean shot on it. That should be good. That should be a dead bison. Oh my gosh, that took so long to complete. But I mean, can't really complain because we did get a diamond goose in the process, which definitely makes it a little bit sweeter. And just finally getting this guy down is so, so nice. I'm really happy that we did. And it looks like it is a vital hit. And that is our first rare European bison out of the, like, what, three, four years that I've played this game? Because the initial beta for the game was late 2016, like in December, and that's when I first played the game. So it's been quite a while, and we had never found one before. And honestly, that looks a little bit darker than the rest. Uh, maybe we should take that too, just in case. Because I think that could be melanistic. Hold on. I actually think that might be melanistic. If it is, then this is honestly the craziest herd I've ever come across, but let's go ahead and get a picture of this bison. Get one more. And we'll go ahead and claim this guy. 124.80 albino. That is absolutely awesome. That is really cool. Definitely happy with that. That's going to look awesome in the lodge. Now, I'm really interested in seeing, is this a melanistic? It kind of looked like it. It could just be a really dark male, but... 
That looked kind of melanistic to me. Go ahead and take that out, just in case that's not the male that we were looking at. Want to make sure we get all the males down so there's just the one. Uh-oh, we got company. Trying to attack us here. The one thing about these European bison, they are pretty aggressive compared to the plains bison, which I kind of like, honestly. Grab that on the way by. Here's this little male right here. This is a normal one. This definitely does not look as dark as the first one we spotted, so... I think there's definitely a melanistic. There's gotta be. Now, the only issue is I couldn't find any blood back there, but I know for a fact we hit it because it did flinch. So now it's just gonna be a matter of finding tracks from a male. All right, well, I just looked back at the footage and we actually didn't hit that guy, so... That one that we just killed was it. So, turns out it wasn't melanistic, and it also turns out that we hit a tree on that first shot, so yeah, there's that. But let's go ahead and jump into the lodge now that we finally got this albino down, and we can put that up along with our Canada goose. All right, so the question is, where do we incorporate Hirschfelden into this lodge? Because I want to make sure we have a Hirsch room, and as of now, I don't have a room for Hirsch. We got our Parquet Fernando room right here. We've got our, like, rares room, so I guess we'll put the bison in here for sure. Just toss this right here. Looking good. I really like that. This is such a cool rare to find. I'm so happy we had the opportunity to do that. We'll go ahead and put this Canada Goose here for now. Just temporarily until we get a separate room for Hirschfeld and animals. But for now, that'll just go there. This new lodge is starting to look pretty decent, especially in this room right here, so that is absolutely awesome. But anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. We did a little bit of everything here on Hirschfeld, and we got a diamond goose, we got ourselves that albino that we've been chasing, and we took out some rabbits, so a little bit of everything for everybody in this particular video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, because it really does help me out an absolute ton. We're trying to get to 6,000 subscribers by the end of this next month, so I would very much appreciate it if you guys would subscribe to the channel, like the video if you enjoyed it, because it does help push my videos out to other viewers, and that is the number one way to help support me. But with all that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!